The most common injection is an intraarticular steroid injection, a cortisone shot, right? Steroids are a powerful anti-inflammatory medication that can be delivered directly to the hip. The problem with steroid injections in the hip joint is that steroids aren't great for hip joints, particularly if you're doing repeated steroid injections. Realistically, one injection is very unlikely to harm the hip, but it's an important consideration because you don't want to find yourself in a pattern where you keep injecting the hip uh, again and again with steroids. That would lead to other kinds of worse problems. Another type of injection into the hip is Keterolac. Keterolac, uh, it's also called Toradol, is a liquid NSAID, like a liquid Advil or a leave. Studies have shown that injecting Toradol for hip osteoarthritis may work as well as steroids. It stands to reason then that this would hold true for hip labral tears as well. The advantage of this approach is that Toradol does not have the same potential deleterious effects on the hip joint, so that makes Toradol very attractive. The main disadvantages are one, some people might have a contraindication to NSAID, so then they couldn't have it. And two, there just hasn't been nearly as much experience or data overall with injectable Toradol as there has been with steroids. Still, it's something to consider. A third type of injection is a very different approach. One can inject viscosupplementation. Viscosupplementation is basically a synthetic joint fluid. This joint fluid can be injected into the hip joint. I had a fellowship director that used to like to say, the labral tear is like a pothole in the road and the visco supplementation paves over the pothole. The nice thing about this approach is that you're putting a joint fluid into the joint that belongs in the joint. So in a way, it's a more organic or natural treatment. It tends to work, at least in my experience, very well for this purpose. Data is very strong for using visco supplementation for hip osteoarthritis, but to be fair, more studies are needed to solidify this for hip labral tears as the standard of care. Right now, it's more empiric clinical data from people who do this a lot for their patients. The fourth type of injection is regenerative medicine. From regenerative medicine, the labral tear is prompted to repair itself by eject injecting around it using one of a few different kinds of products. Regenerative techniques are becoming more popular with each passing year, and there's slowly a growing body of research that's starting to support its usage. The most popular regenerative technique for hip labral tears is probably PRP. This is a procedure where you aspirate the patient's blood, you use a centrifuge to spin down the platelets and growth factors, and then you inject those platelets and growth factors back into the pathologic site with the idea that the growth factors and the platelets will attract the body's own healing mechanisms. 